Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I should probably. We're going to Costco. See, look, look at this prep. I'm going the wrong direction already. Oh, Yo! You could go the other way. It would just take a little bit longer. Because of the traffic. Yeah. This road construction, we just talked about that in one of our other videos. All the road construction around has been uh, made it really tough even to get to one of our grocery stores to get to Costco. So, all right. It is episode 10. Episode 10. Sorry, it's going to be shaky for a sec. And we are going to do a grocery haul. Grocery haul video so you guys can see... Uh, Lex and I are six and a half weeks out now, or just around six weeks, five days, and you guys can see what kind of stuff we're having to get from the grocery store. I've got, um, this, my grocery trip will look a little different than some of you guys, just mainly because we have Not Your Mama's Meal Prep that does our all of our meats or a lot of our meats each week so she sends um, that protein yeah all of our protein all of our chicken um, steak she sends some shrimp but I just got a diet adjustment I'm on two shrimp or lean fish meals a day now so that's another reason for needing this grocery trip is we've got to get some more fish and shrimp and uh, yeah, but we're also in this video, guys, going to show you some diet hacks and some different uh, low-calorie sauces that Lex and I like. Uh, we need to restock on a little bit of that so you guys can see what sauce secrets we have. But don't go out and buying them all to where then when we go to the grocery store, they're all sold out. We've had that problem in prep. Yeah. We've had that problem in prep before where we told people, <laughs> oh my gosh, this sauce is really good. And then we go to the grocery store and all of them are, it's they're all good. bought out. It's terrible. So now every time I post a meal video, I feel like people, I get DMs every single time. What sauce? What sauce? And I usually don't respond. <laughs> because I'm like, I, I want the sauce to myself. I respond to some of our friend, close friends, but all the randos out there asking, and I haven't been telling, that's why. But uh, anyway, you guys We're are going to expose those secrets. We today. are. We're going to expose some of the secrets today of the sauces, the low calorie sauces. And Lex and I eat sauces with our diet meals all year round. So. I keep sauces in, you know, the lower calorie ones, lower carb, zero or low fat, and I'll keep those in all the way until probably peak week, until Matt starts to tell me specifically to pull sauces or avoid certain amounts of sodium. Um, and it really helps keep the dieting more fun, I would say, wouldn't you? I mean, especially eating diet foods and doing things year round can't go without the sauce stick to what you know yeah if it ain't broke don't fix it <laughs> we, we get peeled we get peeled like we get peeled thank you we get peeled with the sauces so i'm gonna keep them in anyway um yeah because who wants to eat plain chicken some people do some people are crazy. But who? They're, they're, that's just silly, that's man. That's just that's silly. <laughs> silly if you were just, just gonna silly, eat. Man. That's a different breed of a person. Yeah. Like that. Oh yeah, Gazdecki. Yeah. He, Matt. He's, he started yeah. using some sauces now that About he's like. Time. He was like, my chicken's getting really boring. Oh, he doesn't eat his chicken with sauces. He wasn't before. Oh, I didn't know that. And now he got to about six weeks out, and he was like, hey. Uh, what sauces are you using? <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're about to pull up uh, Costco first. We get a lot of our bulk stuff there. And then um, we'll hit Meyer for some of the miscellaneous items. Or you can go to Kroger or Walmart or whatever. And um, Which is funny because we've yeah. noticed that like Walmart carries the sugar-free blueberry jam. Yeah. But Meyer and Kroger don't, so it's like, well, if we want blueberry jam, we gotta go to Walmart. Yeah. If we want, like, 
what is it, like the teriyaki sauce? I think we found that. Oh, whatever. Yep, the point is there's certain stores with that have specific sauces we like. So Unfortunately, it's not ever one stop for a grocery store. Yep. But those of you that prep and that are in this, you know, type of lifestyle, you guys can understand that, I'm sure. I think most most of us have to go to two grocery stores. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, we're gonna pull up here. We're going to Costco. We've got about 90 minutes to get done with both grocery trips. And yeah, then we'll be back to keep the day moving, eat another meal and train later on and stuff. So enjoy. We're gonna take you guys inside the grocery store for episode 10, grocery. Gotta hydrate. Not a Stanley. This is a hydro jug. I am not a Stanley girl. Show off the fit. Show off the fit. Yep. Hold on, I'm fixing my water jug. I've got a bodysuit on with the hidden gym jersey. Watch on. out. Watch out, Christian. Okay. Car over here. I need a fit check too because I got Inferno on this collection too and the new hat. By the way, is AMF really going to do... Maybe. We are going to do a new shirt pretty soon, so might have to tell you guys about that. All right, ready to go in? Yes. Let's do it. Get the grocery list. Are you getting the part out? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is This is how you... This is how you organize your grocery list. Or at least that's how we do it. I like it a lot. And then it's also, there's probably grocery apps out there, but this is simple and works for us. We have a grocery list, and then Lex and I, it's a shared note. So we actually can both see when we edit the note, and through the week we'll add stuff to the grocery list or our Amazon list. And that way when one or both of us go to the grocery store, we know what to get. So i got to get some fish, Lex. I'm going to get that tilapia. opinion but the Costco tilapia that's fresh is honestly not that bad and they're bigger fillets too they cook quick nice and easy walk ahead and get the honey crisp apples the amount of looks, the amount of looks we're getting already is cracking me up. I know. <laughs> Normally in this section, we would get like in the off season, I'll get some salmon. Um, I would maybe get some um, filet or tenderloin if we're gonna have a little bit of like more quality steak. Um, yeah, but for now we don't have that much meat to get, so we're just getting some tilapia. We'll hit some frozen shrimp when we get into the um, frozen section. Right now we're in produce, so Lex got some apples. We've got, I've got berries on my list and then some vegetables. So Lex is in there right now, let's head in there. up ahead. I didn't realize they had these packs. Oh goodness. 
here's one that's like even organic with no sugar and even not concentrate. Wow. Dude, and that's a Kirkland brand. Damn. Here we go. It's a perfect tip. Um, one thing we've added into my intro workout has been uh, organic coconut water and it's been for the electrolytes and the hydration effect and it's been awesome i've been really loving it and a little forgetful sometimes about putting it in you normally don't drink coconut yeah, water so it's been a yeah but it's really cool because dude these are awesome and they're these like the even like little small ones too yeah, they're, they're big ones these are little 11 ounce cartons and it's really it's really cheap really good we're not gonna talk about the price but it's very cheap so if you guys um, have an intra workout drink I highly recommend giving some coconut water a try mixed into your intra good find that's a good find wifey knows best <laughs> <laughs> that's true <laughs> we didn't show off the new ink yet oh yeah the new new ink we're manifesting. Look at Lex's. Oh, that one's sick. You hadn't seen it yet, had no, you? I have not. So sick. Yeah. All right, let's keep moving. This is good stuff. So I usually would get, I'd say we get a frozen bag or two, just again, so we have some extra. Back up. Yeah, because especially since I'm having two, I'm having a pound of fish a day now. And Lex has one or two fish meals as well. So we're going to get a frozen bag as backup. Uh, since we already got some fresh and we have our meal prep company that gets us some. That's our favorite thing when we see stuff out of place at the grocery store. <laughs> we always say, oh, a decision was made. And normally it's usually like pastries or candy or shit that like people aren't supposed to have that they'll ditch right before the register. <laughs> anyway, here's some children's books. Um, this is the rice that we normally get. This is my favorite. So you get that. It's a 25-pound bag. It'll last... I don't even know, it's lasting longer. We don't need to get this today, but I wanted to show you guys what rice I'm getting. Um, it's been the same stuff that I've used for probably four years. It's my favorite. Cooks well, digests really well, tastes good. So 25 pound bag, off season it lasts like a few, <laughs> probably lasts like a month. And in prep it lasts like three months. <laughs> so. I'm not going to get it today, but that way you guys know what I'm getting. The other big thing too, guys, is don't forget to season. Like, use seasonings. A lot of people are, they just bake chicken or cook it in a crock pot and not do anything with it. And Chicken already is boring enough, so you guys should, you know, have a variety of different seasonings that you can use. And that's just one garlic salt. I usually use just straight garlic. Stuff like this. Salt and pepper. Um, we'll show you some other ones here. Ooh, we need to get more ranch seasoning. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, but look, there's just there's so many good things you can use. I mean, crushed red pepper. This is a taco seasoning. This one has 20 calories, but you can get taco seasonings that are zero calorie most seasonings are going to be zero calorie so make sure your food tastes good i have zero it's like a zero yeah. calorie one yeah so we should definitely show that one 
just has a little bit high in sodium. You've been adding that to chicken and then putting like buffalo sauce on it, right? Yeah, so it's like a buffalo ranch. Yeah, and that's zero like calorie. Like hot sauce. Yeah, sorry. And that's a zero calorie plus the buffalo sauce is zero calorie, so mm -hmm. it's like a... Like Frank's hot sauce? Yeah. Very good stuff. Oh, here we go. Especially on chicken and rice. Well, there's the regular, there's the spicy sandwich. And fish. I see the regular St. Elmo up here. One of my favorite seasonings we use. The black and St. Elmo is pretty good. I know. I've had to watch out for spicy a little more though. Look at this one. Dano's Chipotle. I have like a smoky taste. This is zero calories. And this is low uh, this is low sodium as well. You wanna get this one? Chipotle. It's going to hurt. Yeah. Last thing, the St. Elmo seasoning. I'm going to go grab that later. One of my all-time favorites. Been using this for like five years, too. Good right. for all meats. Everything. And veggies. Oh, that's true. Yeah. And tons of stuff. Cool. So that's it, honestly. We got rice. For Costco? Yeah, that's it for Costco. So as you guys can see, take a look in the cart here. It's uh, not too much. It's just mainly bulk items. Normally, uh, again, we just get all of our meats from Not Your Mama's Meal Prep. So definitely helps us save some money, um, but also makes our prep life way easier um, with having our meats already cooked and very easy to portion out and seasoned really well. So that's it for Costco. We're going to check out and go get an energy drink because from Seven Brew. Yeah, it's going to be good. And then we're going to head over to the last grocery stop. Let's get it. Homer Simpson. <laughs> right. uh, I'm going to have, yeah. Lex asked me a few days ago what I was missing most in the prep. Like, what is your number one craving? And I want? literally think she was surprised because I said Rice Krispie Treats. And that is because... In the off season, when I was having to put away so much food, Rice Krispie Treats became such a quick and easy thing for me to get down and get tons of carbs in. They digest extremely well because it's a rice-based product. Uh, and I was eating like 10 a day on top of like four cheat meals a week and then all of my six meals as well. And that's how I really, I got over 250 at that point uh, because I was really putting away calories. So she just said, <laughs> She goes, don't look left. Look behind don't you. Don't look left. Look over. <laughs> <laughs> I said, don't look to the left. Dude, and I was going through one of those in a week. In six days. I was having ten a day. Well, you had a was, couple. It had a help. A little bit. Yeah, you helped a little. <laughs> Five, eighty-nine. Wait. Six. 99. Anytime he goes away. Old karaoke action for you guys. And don't leave me your thing alone. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. It is so bright. 156. There we go. And that was a quick trip. Costco normally goes quick because we already know what we're getting. So. Got about 45 minutes to an hour until I need to eat the next meal. And we don't have that much to grab at Meyer, so that'd be perfect. Let's get a drink and get this done. Yeah. Could you add it to the list? Yeah. I didn't add it to the list. Oh, yeah. Well, we were surprised. I was curious. How come reading a book is not on there? Reading a book? Yeah. yeah. She's going to add it. <laughs> <laughs> reading. <laughs> Can I get it? Maybe. Got it. One boat? <laughs> One boat. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go probably with uh, people watching. People watching? <laughs> what would you say? What would you say? Cameraman probably thing. same thing. Peop people, people watching. watching. <laughs> I'm keeping, I'm just going to keep my sunglasses on. It's bright. It is bright. It's a bright day here in Indiana. All right. Back home again in Indiana land. Back home. <laughs> I'm going to put a gronk in. I'm going to put a gronk there. Alright, you're going that way. I am going that way. I'll see you over in the grocery store. Bye, baby.
see you later. <laughs> These are great. Another prep hack. Another prep hack. Check it out, guys. Five calories. And there's lots of different juices that Minute Maid has that are zero, zero sugar and zero calorie. This one's a really good one as well. Again, if you got a sweet tooth and you need something that's can help curb it. This one's good too. Five calories. I'm gonna get an extra one of these. And there's fruit punch, pineapple. So that's a good one. Sunshine, which is good. I don't have egg whites in my diet, but why do you guys? A couple sets of egg whites for legs. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Of course, it's out. The fair day. Walmart normally has a whole bunch of food. Do they? Yeah. So this is the brand. El pa old El Paso. Um, this is not too bad. It's got two and a half grams of fat, two grams of carbs per serving. Serving size is 16 grams, so you really don't want to use very much of this, if at all, in prep. But that is a good tasting one. Um, the Zesty Ranch is good, but the one, I'm going to give you the secret, it's not here right now, is the Verde. The Verde Old El Paso sauce is phenomenal. And low calorie. Another one. Here we go. Watch out behind you. Sorry, excuse us. Yeah. So good. Zero calories. Okay. Oh, they got these on sale. Three for five. Hell yes. These are the go-to right here. I do prefer these over the orange packs, the Uncle Ben's. Um, these have less additives in them and less sodium. Yeah, these taste really good. Two cups of this is about 240 grams. So what we like to do is, especially they're on sale, three for five. So Lex and I, we like to get, because our lives are kind of busy and we're kind of on the go a lot. So we'll get these, stock these in our pantry as a safety net. And that way, if there's ever a night that we're too tired or we forget to cook more rice or one of us didn't realize, we've always got backup rice on hand as well. And this has saved us more times than I can count. So I'll normally get six of them and then we'll kind of have them sparingly um, as we need them. <laughs> um, another easy prep combo, easy prep combo that I've been loving is just like a standard mustard or you can even do like a flavored mustard and then getting some spicy pickle chips that are zero calorie and just doing like chicken rice, um, salt pepper and mustard. What stone ground mustard? And spicy pickles. Fire, dude. It's like you're eating chicken with mustard and pickle at a barbecue. It's like freaking awesome. I got a cookout. <laughs> hey, look, Nathan. We can get Nathan. Yo! You know what Nathan's famous is for? They're wieners. Wieners. <laughs> Wiener. Yeah, anyway. Oh, I haven't. Yep. Fire, dude. Zero calories. Just gonna have a lot of sodium, obviously, with pickles, so you wanna eat these a little sparingly, but one or two meals a day with a few pickles, not a problem. They don't carry the sugar-free blueberry jam here, so we usually stock up on that whenever we go to Walmart. 
Um, and then we'll go with some sugar-free, squeezable strawberry jam, or for me, um, Matt just has me do a reduced sugar jam. So, probably get an extra one of those, get an extra one of these guys. It's gonna be good for a few weeks. Love that, less shopping to do. Ready? You guys probably already know if you've been following me for a few years, always the go-to on my eggs. Did catch up for a while, but this is consistently what helps me get eggs down all year round for 12 plus years. Not really been using this for 12 years, but <laughs> I don't enjoy eggs that much anymore, frankly. Uh, in prep, I do like them because I'm hungry, but right when I get into the off season, man, I don't really like eggs anymore, so you guys give this a try. It's in the popcorn section though, is where you'll find this. And they have some other flavors too um, that you could try on your eggs just as long as they're no calorie, which this one is. I've been loving these water jugs because of the handle. I mean, and I'm really, I'm not a huge like heavy water drinker, so. I've noticed in prep, I definitely need to carry around the gallon just because it helps me make sure that I'm getting all of this in. I gotta get all this in. Plus I have other drinks for the day, so it puts me over a gallon of uh, fluid consumption for the day, but I've gotta carry the gallon. Around. Huge necessity in prep. Cauliflower rice. You're looking for rice texture, but you have to eat vegetables. Cauliflower rice, definitely a good prep pack. Mm -hmm. And then there's green beans in this one. Green yep. beans. And then we do these little frozen whole green bean packs. Um, you can buy fresh or frozen. Again, Lex and I really shop for um, speed is a big thing for us. I mean, being on the go. You know, having a few different businesses that we're working in, and then we're both prepping at the same time. It's the less prep time we have with food, and we keep the day moving quickly. Um, the convenience factor is huge for us right now. So, and these are only two bucks per. This will get us probably. Sometimes they'll have deals like five for yeah. five dollars. Yeah. I don't know. And these uh, one bag will get us through a day's worth of vegetables. Definitely. For me. Enough to feed the both of us. Yeah. So, yeah, normally getting, you know, three or four of those a week. Usually it'll last us. I mean, we love toasted strudels. Toaster strudels. Toaster. But, where's the one? It's the Meyer. Oh, God. The blueberry. Well, right up there. Right up there. Oh, yeah, the Meyer blueberry. Oh, my gosh. They're better than the Kellogg's. Oh, my mouth is watering. <laughs> doing this for you guys. I could literally this just be torturous. Them plain. I don't even need syrup. These are fire. Those. These are so good. The Meyer brand. Look at you. Even the, even it looks better here than the Eggo. The Eggo waffles. Okay, this is off season. This is not prep. This is not prep <laughs> talking. In the off season, though, if you want to freaking change up. Like two waffles is three grams of fat, 24 grams of carbs, three grams of protein, only 290 milligrams of sodium. This is, this is easy to add. You know what, and I, I'm sure, I'm sure people in the comments are gonna be like, oh, there's preservatives, and oh, don't, there's, the ingredients are bad. I don't give a shit. <laughs> These are fire every now and then. We only care when we're in season, yeah. off season. Off season, that's season when, I'm like that's enjoying when it's game time stuff. and fun time. <laughs> We stay strict, you know, probably 80 to 90 percent through the, at least me, 80 to 90 percent <laughs> through the off season. But I like to have the fun stuff in the off season. It, this has to be, you have to be able to 
do this lifestyle for a long duration of time, right? It's a marathon, not a sprint. If I'm gonna do this shit for 10 years, 20 years, 25 years, which I'm already at 12 right now, I gotta have stuff in the off season that is going to make this lifestyle enjoyable. And convenient. Yeah, convenient and fun. And like, we you use sugar-free syrup? Oh, I didn't get sugar-free syrup and I need sugar-free syrup. That would have been the freaking item I would have forgot. Now we have to <laughs> backtrack. That would have been the item I forgot <laughs> if I didn't show you guys this. This is perfect. Anyway, super tangent, but you gotta do some fun stuff in the off season, guys. Like, stop taking yourself so seriously. Stop taking life so freaking seriously. Have some fun. Eat some enjoyable food. But if you're gonna get some waffles, go with this over Eggo. Eggos. I mean, to each their own. That just means more blueberry for us. Yeah, that's true. They're just chewier. I've not seen the chocolate chip though before. I'm definitely getting hungry. <laughs> I'm so hungry. We're gonna get sugar free syrup. I was even looking yeah. at the cinnamon French toast ones. The fruity pebble ones? Sorry. Nathan stays. <laughs> I want carbs. <laughs> Look, they even have Ego grab and goes, the ones that don't need waffle. Because uh, they have don't a need... syrup infusion? Yeah. Those look pretty fire. I was showing the orange rolls and cinnamon rolls in the back too. Good. People need to know yeah, about those you guys things. Need to All right, let's go. <laughs> this is Buttersworth. Yeah, we'll do that. What's Buttersworth, that say? That's that reminds on. me of Mr. Bigglesworth. Oh, it's Mrs. Mrs. Bigglesworth. Comment below. Dr. Evil's Dr. cat. Dr. Evil's cat. Is it Mr. or Mrs. Bigglesworth? I'm Team Mister. Look what you did in Mrs. Bigglesworth. I think it's Mister. It's a it's a female cat. Is it? It might be. She knows movies better than I do. But I'm gonna go Mister. She's gonna go Mrs. Comment below. I you know do. What? I want to see I'm comments. Just... Dr. Evil. Don't 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 spoil. Don't spoil. I cut the video. Don't get oats that often, but when I do, I need to have it out of the house. Uh, and how did we end up right in the fucking aisle of the things that I miss? I had a feeling you were going to look that way. <laughs> I look over and Christian's smiling. Like, it's like going. Ah. I usually just keep my head to the left here. Looking at drinks. Yeah, I want them. There's people behind us. So. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? Tag team. Ready? <laughs> speed. Speed. Oh, no, speed. <laughs> Self checkouts here are good too. Ready? <laughs> I realized I was wearing this in our last video. This was the shirt that had the mic on. It's alright, it's been a few days. It's gonna look like we did. Well, that was weird. Almost the exact same price at Costco and here. Look like, at the taste you like. What's your favorite candy bar? Oh yeah, yeah. Drop in the comments. Another, another comment down below. Comment What's below. your favorite candy bar? We were having a debate about this yesterday. I'm Team Take Five. You can see them right there. Reese's Take Five. Yeah. Or Snickers. Snickers is also another good one. Oh yeah. All right, this one, 158. I don't know where the hell it is. I saw it earlier. Anyway, yeah, there we go, 158. So that was almost exactly the same price. It was only $2 off, I think it was 156 at Costco. But that's it. Good grocery haul. You got to see, you guys got to see a grocery haul for us as we are 
six weeks and four days out so about six and a half weeks out from chicago pro it's gonna be episode 10 grocery haul hope you guys enjoyed it plus gave you guys a lot of tips and tricks with your dieting that should make some things uh, definitely more fun until next time stay tuned and uh yeah prep series going well episode 10 grocery haul put your cart back don't be a bitch <laughs> <laughs>